are, how are you with working out because of your wrestling history? Do you go hard as fuck? No, I mean, I, I, there was in my, in my thirties, you know, I could go a lot harder and I think like 40 was the last time I was really, I was actually, my dad was coaching back then. So I was wrestling a little bit with some of his kids and I got in shape right around 40, 41. And it's since then it's pretty pathetic. Um, I mean, it's since the quarantine, like I started, I like, I walk, which is the most, you know, that's just embarrassing to say, you know, no, you know what the I most walk. weight I ever lost was, it walk, does was walking mm-hmm. and watching what I ate. Yeah. You lose, you, you lose a lot of weight walking, but you just feel, but I started adding like out one day I'll do the, the plank, you know, and the other day I'll do push ups. The other day I'll do that, uh, like sit, sit on the, sit on the wall type thing, you know, like yeah. you're sitting in the chair thing. So I've been doing that and it makes, and, and, uh, I'm feeling a, a little bit stronger. Like, yeah. So I, I can go like, like I can, like I went six minutes on the plank and it was just purely out of spot. Just that, that I accessed something from wrestling years ago. We're like, I That's can what play. I wonder. You can yeah. access that because you've got that mindset never leaves you. Just, it, it's weird. Cause it, 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 I mean, you have to really find it. I, I, um, I'll tell you a quick story. Like I, uh, when I was living in the city, uh, when I first got to New York, this was, I don't know, about six or seven years, seven or eight years ago. I, uh, I was walking, you know, on my, on my walk, uh, and, uh, I'm in the East village and I hear this guy behind me. He's like, what are you looking at, man? And I turned around, you know, it's like a crazy guy and I just keep walking and he, he the guy sprints like, and gets in my face, you know? And he's like, what are you looking at, man? I go like, I, I, Hey man, get the fuck out of here. Like, I don't know who you are. And, and he jacked me. Like he took, he, he, it was like a right like I almost deserved it because I had my chin out. So, but like, like he just a uh, boom, he hit me with a right, and so that's what I'm like at that moment. I sort of like I was like, man, I I don't think I've been punched in about twenty years. I forgot what you're supposed to do, you know. Like for a second, I was like victim guy. I was like, I'm just gonna finish up my walk, you know, or or, or whatever. I, I don't know. And then like yeah, I, it just accessed. I was like, wait a minute. I used to practice fighting every day for 20 years, every day. I, and I just, it, Bert, I wrestled him. I shot, I shot a single leg takedown to the right side and I picked his leg up like, and he went right down. Like he's, he sucked. He was, uh, I, he was the te- worst guy I've ever, I guarantee this guy never paid, made it past districts is, is, is what I'll say. And, and, uh, <laughs> so, and then I get on top and I'm losing my mind. I'm like, Oh, I'll kill you. I'll fuck. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Okay. Like, and, and then, you know, like if somebody would have walked by, they would have been like, there's a crazy guy getting beat up by a really crazy guy or girl. <laughs> yeah. I can't tell from the voice, you know, and it's New York. People are just walking by like, oh, yeah, yeah, it looks like Larry's losing today or what, you know, like nobody cared. And um, finally, this dude walked by and he had a cell phone and he, and, and he starts videotaping us and like it all came back, it, you know. I was like, wait a minute, I'm 45. Like, I'm going to, and, and I didn't even like think about what I, you know, I was like, I'm going to, I got spots tonight, you know, like I'm going to, if I, we're going to have to, I'm going to have to go talk to the police and stuff. And uh, yeah. I just like left and the dude with the cell phone, nobody said anything. Like if that happened in where I live in this nice suburb that I live in, like it would be in the paper, you know, or in the news. Like the, the only guy that said anything was a dude with the cell phone. He goes, yo dog, why he hit you? I was like, I, I don't know, man. He's, he's crazy. And he goes, you a champ, dog. You a champ, dog. <laughs> and the guy, like, I didn't really, like, the guy, the guy that hit me, he had, like, one punch. Like, that's kind of all he, ha- like, he hit me. And it was a pretty good shot. And then after that, he was just like, uh, and then real quick, I'm, like, on top of him. I'm, I got my arm on his throat. And then I realized, no, I'm the bad guy here. This guy's a heroin addict. Like, he's, he's yeah. on something. Like, I'm the bad person here. Like, this is not, you know, yeah. and he, he had, no, he was just, like, had nothing after that. But I, I didn't access it, and it, it there was, it, it was like a split second to access it, and I um, I called one of my buddies, like I called Vecchione, who's a, who wrestled in Vecchione, college too, yeah, legit yeah, wrestler, and, and it was a great. I called him, then I called one of my other buddies. He's like, dude, this is uh, this is gonna be the biggest thing in your career. That guy's got that thing. He's gonna put it on YouTube. This is gonna break you. I'm like, the biggest thing. Like I had a Comedy Central special. He's like, yeah, man, I saw it. It wasn't great. This is the thing, man. This is. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
Yeah. That's great. So, like I was able to, I can get to it, but it's, it, you know, I guess it's laziness or fear or whatever. Like I, 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 and I, and I see, I can get to it. I can't get to, I couldn't wrestle right now. I went, I tried to wrestle a college kid about seven years ago and almost had a heart attack. So I can't, I'm not in that kind of shape, but I can get to a little bit of toughness. 